Record hang times in a wind-powered race. The KiteSites.com free video podcast is your window to the 2008 Ozone Snow Kite Masters. playground is all over. People are going out a couple miles on the ridge because it's just epic yeah, scenery. Cool. Everyone appreciates the snow-covered terrain. It's uh, heaven. Heaven uh, with uh, marshmallow cloud and the energy. This is amazing. It's just so much snow and Every time I've been here, it's been blue skies. I was out on a 10, and I was trying out the uh, ozone kites, and I got up to the top, and it was sort of insane for me because it's new, and it, but it was awesome. It's awesome. Made my way back, had a good time. Warm water kite surfers bring their experience on the water to the snow. I kite surf a lot uh, every day also. For a beginner snow kiter like I am, you know, not a beginner kiter, but it's it's perfect to learn on. Kiters are finding a whole new world of extreme fun. Snow kiting is great. I love it. It's just like taking kiteboarding to the next level. First time trying snow kiting. There's much more possibilities on snow. Tamatoa Gilo came from a tropical kite site. Come from Tahiti. Flying in place over one of the many cornices. It's really great here. And reaching for the skies. Flying and snow is soft, especially here, skyline. We got nice slopes and we can go almost as far as we want. It's hard not to become absorbed by the sheer spectacle of it all. I've never seen anything like it. It's awesome. It's a thrill. Kiters challenge themselves, and their cutting skills are put to the test. Four, three, dos, uno. So right away, we've got some tight collisions here. Looks like somebody just took out our liquid force tire. Once you got some speed and you've got the wind in your kite, you can start trying to get your kite in front of them and that's good fun. What is it like to race? It's kind of like motocross. You get out in the front and you can kind of just pick your line. Otherwise it's a catch-up game and it's really tough. You got to kind of strategize on the way out. The way out is where you get in trouble. And what does it take to win? There's some fast kids out here this weekend and uh, I did win Montana last week so I'm like, you know, I can get in the top five, I think. I didn't expect to win. And it happened. Maybe I trained hard for the past four days when I arrived. Congratulations to the winners. Next episode. How high and how long are these kiters, or should we say pilots, off the ground? The KiteSites.com free video podcast is your front row seat as world-class kiters touch the sky over skyline. You don't need an iPod to subscribe. Just go to KiteSites.com to find the best option that works for you.